Hello Darknet agents, this is Gator. We're gonna go through and do a video series on how to get yourself up and running with a 3D printer so you can go through and print off your own Darknet 12 case batch. So we have already gone through and done a unboxing of the main board. Digital and I went through and showed how to go through and quickly flash it a couple different ways to do so. But this is just one of a series of different videos that you can go through and watch to get yourself up and running. So I've got a blank slate here to be able to go through and start setting things up and show you how to do so if you've never worked with a 3D printer before. And this is assuming that you either have access to a 3D printer, you're gonna go buy your first 3D printer, or you and a couple buddies are gonna get together. So with that, we're trying to be able to help folks get together, create something new, learn something new, and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna set up this area with a Prusa Mark III. That's the one that I have. And then we're gonna go through the software to get yourself set up to be able to download that case, modify it a bit, and then be able to print it off. With that, since we've got a blank slate, let's go ahead and do a build montage. Now, to start things off, I also like to go through and use just regular Windex and make sure I've cleaned my sheet. Once I eat, because you don't want to get your human oil all over that. So you wipe that down to where you got a clean working plate on both sides. And then you can set that back on there. Looks like I got a little squirt there, which is fine. That's all locked in place. So we are ready to move on to our next step. You could theoretically from here, just take your SD card, plug it in and you're good to go. Nothing's there. So from here, let's do our next step and hook up our Raspberry Pi. I'll make sure to drop another video on how to get Octopi up and running, or you can take a look at somebody else's, but I've gone through, set up a Raspberry Pi 4 using the Villaros all aluminum passive cooled case, which I love these things. I live in a very hot desert, so having something that's fanless is great. I then also have a power cable I plug into the Pi 4. And then lastly, to be able to actually control the printer, you need yourself the old school e printer cable and just a regular USB. You can plug that into the regular here. And when you come back here, I suggest putting the Pi on battery backup. So if the printer crashes, you have the option to go through and recover your stuff. And you plug in, so right here, which is good to go, that's the minimum, which is a good setup. But we can make this just a little bit better. One of the reasons why a lot of people like to use OctoPi is because you can go through and set up to use a camera. So you can use any type of camera that you like. I am using this Anchor one because honestly, I didn't like it for face cam. Um, you can use any type of USB camera that you can find. This is a USB 3.0 camera, so I'm going to just grab a spare cable real quick, and then I'm gonna plug that into the Pi 3.0 port, so then I can see. And you will have to play with this on positioning wise. So let's plug this in, and we're gonna have to see how and where we're gonna position, but here's a, a good start. We've got a view of the board, to where we can actually see what's going on here. We've got clearance from our wall on our 3D print. The board can come in and out. This is not gonna be caught in anything. So we should be ready to start printing. Montage.
Okay, so now we're ready to put the second color in. I've already, was the film successful unload? Yes. Now it says insert filament. We just need a little bit. So we're gonna use some of our spare white to finish things off. Put the spare up here. Feed this into here. underneath and grab this make sure the color is coming out white yes it's coming out white yes Let's pull it away a little bit more as it goes down and then we're clear Sweet, looks like it's done. This is what it looks like. This is still a hot plate, but I'm gonna go through, bend it, and then get one of your scraper tools. Like this guy here. And we can scrape this guy off. Underneath. Just like that. Cool. Put that someplace flat. We're gonna clean off the spares I threw it into its own container some people like to recycle that and then you can go through clean this off as well throw that in the trash now just like last time we can actually see just from cleaning up in the room the oil from our hands again since we're all set and done we're ready for the next part we're gonna go ahead and clean this so do one spray to each side, wipe that off to where it's clean, and flip it, and hold in the corners where it's not going to print most of the time. If you're far enough away, one spray should be just fine. And then, back over here, line up those two back pins, and then you're ready to do another print. We'll get Let's go ahead and take this to the workbench to be able to clean up. Looks like, hey, that part just like fell right off, which is great. So let's go clean this up.